Today we're here on the Colo River, uh, where we've actually just released a male platypus back to the wild. When we had a, had a look at him this morning, he, he appeared brilliant, you know, he's in great condition. Um, what we wanted um, for him was to see him at around about 1 to, to 1.4 kilos and he's right on 1.3, so we're quite happy with that. Um, his tail condition is fantastic, so it, it demonstrates that he's got some reserves. Straight away when we put him in, he was just demonstrating normal behaviour, which is what we want to see. Obviously for us, we did expect that maybe he might take off straight away, but in fact he just hung around us a little bit, um, felt the waters and, and then eventually just swum off to the bank where he's hung for the last half an hour. We've released him as early as we can today to give him today to actually find as many spots as possible that he could potentially hide in. What we want for him is to be able to find deadfall in the river where he can hide in. We've picked this spot uh, specifically because of how much opportunity there is here for him. If you're visiting a place like this where um, there are a few tourist parks around, people often do bring their dogs as well. I guess so one thing that I'd ask is that you try and look after your animals as best as possible. Keep them close on a lead. Um, platypus can unfortunately fall victim to dog attacks. Um, but I guess also uh, when fishing in areas like this, um, sometimes yabby traps are used in water bodies like the Colo River and unfortunately they catch non-target species like the platypus. Um, so obviously trying to pull back on those sorts of practices and remove it completely uh, would, would be amazing. If you do find one, definitely you want to take it to a wildlife care facility as soon as you can. Wires are great for that, they've got a, quite a wide reach. Uh, those wires um, staff will then bring the animal to the zoo where we can give it the best care possible.